Ahlan wa sahlan ya shabab. Welcome to part 12. In the previous part, um, we added some general styling to the settings. Dot .scss file. And yeah. Now, what we are going to do is to create our first page to show all the tasks and just make sure for instance that your uh, web service on render is running just type your address and see what you get in the browser and then yeah so because um, after 15 minutes of inactivity it will shut down and you when you call the URL it will uh, turn on again Okay, so let me see. We create now pages. We have pages in here. Um, basically, you can also this files you can delete. Index readme blah blah blah. Don't need it. Delete anyway. Close this. Let's create a new few component tasks. Overview page. Okay, we will need a bunch of things in here. First thing, what we are going to do is the following. We'll call get tasks. Obviously, we need to import it. Nice. And the thing is, we will store the values that it returns. Let's go inside here. Mm -hmm. Basically, these are all the values we need. Just let me just quickly copy those values. Uh, let's say const equals. That, that, that remove this say comma in here uh, let's use a bunch of these things okay uh, remove this type declaration so comma comma Looks good, but if we can do this a one liner. Okay. Uh, that, that, okay. Okay. Looks almost good, but this should be also like this. Okay. Basically, what I did, oh, wait a second. Uh, I could have did, did it better. <laughs> I just could have copied just this and that's it. Total fail. Yeah. You could could do this and that's it. Total fail. Okay. <laughs> but I still I will I will not cut it out because as you can see you make I mean yeah it's it's I would say natural to make mistakes. Now let's use use task navigation, use Task navigation. Go inside here. We need all of this. Basically, to be honest, this could be also one liner to make it a little bit more visible. Okay. Okay. Copy. Define here the const. Okay, something went wrong, I guess. Uh, not sure what went wrong, to be honest. Ah, const. Okay. 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 
because we will the thing is what we are going to do we will send a fetch task request we will store all the tasks we will determine if it's loading or not we will also check if it's a network error and when when it's a network error we will lock the axios error here we will just um, check if the user uh, clicks on a menu item like open task, close task, or all tasks, and then we'll navigate to it, and then we'll also check if the user clicks on a logo. We also want to use the task store, of course. Task store equals use task store. It's going to be next what we are going to do. Selected task ID equals ref reference bit. We'll save, of course, a task ID when the user wants to go to a, ta to a task detail page. Next, we want to check if the delete dialog is, gets selected is delete dialog selected. Okay, let me say false. Const uh, select. Now we want to also, also save the selected task description. Description reference is empty at the beginning. Okay. Next, we are using the how's it called? Um, I forgot the name, it was, what was it called? Um, we're going to use on mountain, a uh, life cycle methods, the life cycle methods of a few application, like Android view also has life cycle methods. When the, first loading of the page happens, we want to say fetch tasks and it will be based on task store, get the selected task type, what the user has selected. So basically the navigation works when the user clicks on open task, close task or all tasks. Next thing, we have a watcher. We say watch We also want to watch if the task uh, store select task tab gets uh, changed. And here we have the new type. And we say and what we're saying here, if a new type gets selected, new task type, open, close, or all, we fetch again. And you would put the new type in here, semicolon. And to really trigger it, we also need watch effect. There's also the method watch effect. Uh, that, 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 that I forgot. Mm, I would like to explain to you why we need this, but because I had some issues, I needed to use it. Okay, the thing is, in watch, in watch, why we need this, because um, it observes the changes and select the task type and then it calls accordingly the fetch tasks and here in watch effect 
it's reactive. It's when a user does something, when he clicks immediately, it gets triggered. It's a reactive method. Yeah. Mm, this is not reactive. Watch is not reactive. It's just when the page completely reloads, it it gets affected. But yeah, uh, that's why we use watch effect and to make it reactively. Now we say, yeah, fetch tasks. Basically, basically, we can copy paste this in here. Okay, okay, looks good, looks good, looks good. Okay, next thing we are going to do. Define a constant reader again to open the delete dialog. And when we going to open it now, we want to have an object of type task. We need the number, the ID is a number, the description is a string. Is a string. Okay. Now we say selected task ID dot value equals task dot id semicolon select the task description here we say value of course equals task dot description and now we know the uh, is delete dialog selected? You can put the value to true. Okay. Next thing, what we're going to do is to um, make sure things. Uh, when the user wants to see the car details, we define here value, handle a card, clicked, ID number, okay. Then we'll open a new page for the details. Router dot push push because we want to also be able to navigate back. Say name task detail view and we put some parameters in here for the URL because it's best practice to show which kind of task uh, it's selected by the ID. So params that that's curly braces ID and we have to put the ID uh, to string because it's a number. Uh, yeah, it's basically it, and then just call then to make to avoid some warnings. Next thing, what we are going to do is when the user wants to um, update the task, edit it, const navigate to task update view, uh, to, to 
task update update page here we have a task of type task fetch response okay Okay, we wanna we want to to cache this task. So let's use task store dot set task to edit. Put this task inside of it, and then we also need router dot push. Basically, we can copy this and we can just change small things. We use task update view and here we get this id from task dot id string and that's basically it here and the last thing last but not least i will say const delete task ID here we have the number and for now we'll just console log it because we will implement the logic a little bit later console log um, delete clicked delete clicked Yes, that's it for the logic part. I hope I have no typos in here. And in the next tutorial in part 13, inshallah, so God will, we will be able to see something. Uh, yeah, we just have to adapt the router paths and so on. But yeah, so catch me in the next one. You know the drill. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Mas